Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Cricut Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group. Yesterday Cricut made an announcement that there's going to be some changes coming up in Design Space for the Print and Cut feature. In preparation of that, Cricut has done an update and there is a new release coming that is release for desktop is version 7.16 and on the iOS it's version 5.15. This is currently rolling out to everybody so you may or may not have it yet but you'll have it in the next few days and what we need to do is that they're going to have a new and approved way to calibrate your Cricut machine, just it's easier. I got a lot of questions about this yesterday. People seemed very confused about what Cricut was telling them to do. So I just thought I'd show you real quick. So the main thing is, is that updating with the new calibration flow, which all that means is that Cricut has automated it in Design Space and added more context for you so you know what to do. Okay, so that's all that meant that it's a guided process in design space. Now, the other thing is that they're strongly recommending is if you already have printed a print and cut project, but you have not cut it out yet, go ahead and do that before you do a calibration update. The other thing is if you wait until the new calibration is required, which it will be in the future, so you might as well do it now. Um, if you wait, any unsaved projects you have could be interrupted and possibly lost. So that's all they're talking about here is there's some new things coming out for print and cut, hopefully. We've got our fingers crossed that it may be larger print, but I don't know that for sure. But this is just in preparation of us all getting ready to do that. So I hope that that cleared that up. I will um, go ahead and show you in Design Space where do you go to do the calibration update and what the new workflow looks like. So I'm on my home screen and over here in the left hand corner next to the word home there's the three little dash lines and we're going to click on that and there's a menu here so you want to go down to where it says calibration you'll click calibration and then there's different machine calibrations there's one if you have the rotary blade and the Cricut Maker there's one if you have the knife blade and the Cricut Maker and then there is one that says get the most accurate cuts for print and cut and this is for uh, Cricut Explore machine users and Cricut Maker users. You cannot do print and cut with the Cricut Joy. So if you have a Cricut Joy, don't worry about doing it. You're going to click print and cut. Then it's going to tell you that you need to print these out. So you'll need to have your printer set up with white copy paper in it. And then you'll pick which printer. So it says select a printer, load white printer paper, and then click print. So you will Pick from your list of whatever you have loaded. I have several um, printers, so I'm going to pick the one that I use for print and cut. And then you're going to click print. Okay, so it's going to go to print. And you'll see the little circle here where it's telling you. And now it is going over to the printer. Once it's gone to the printer and printed out, you need to retrieve that from the printer. And then you will click continue. Once you click to continue, it's going to tell you to place the sheet in the top left corner of your cutting mat, just like you normally would, and then you click continue. So see, it's very easy. It's just walking you through. This is what Cricut says is a guided experience. So then it's going to ask you to pick which machine you're using. Make sure your, your uh, Cricut is on. Now, I do want to remind you, you have to do this. Let's say I have a Cricut Maker. I have a Cricut Maker 3, and I have a Cricut Explorer 2. Two. I will need to do this process on all three of the machines. Okay, this is not just one time in design space. This is calibrating the machine to talk to your Cricut to cut correctly. So I'll have to do it on all three of my machines that I use and I do use them all the time for various things. So right now I have my Cricut Maker turned on. It's asking me which Cricut Maker. So I'm going to pick the one that I have and it's going to go through and pop over and communicate with that Cricut. Now it's going to tell you prepare the machine. So you already have your fine point blade already loaded. You don't put anything in the tools in clamp A 
clamp B has your fine point braid, and then you're just going to hit the arrow key like you normally would in Design Space. And you have loaded that printed image on your Cricut mat, and now you're just going to feed it into your machine like you normally would. Now it's telling you that you're going to press Go, and then you will hit the Go button there on your machine with the little Cricut head. And what's going to happen now... <laughs> And you can hear mine in the background working. What's going to happen now is the scan head on your Cricut is going to go back and forth across your project. It's going to do this multiple times. It may kind of pause for a minute. It may, it may do, uh, it'll go up and down and across and so forth. So that's going to take a minute or two for it to do that. Do not interfere with it. Let it do its thing. If you're having problem with your scanning head having the light on and print and running across correctly and you get the uh, can't continue or there was an issue or something, there are some there are some troubleshooting steps in Design Space that you can follow and I'll post those in the link in the description of this video so if you need that you know where to go to go get those troubleshooting steps. It has a lot to do with the amount of light that you have. Now you will realize that sometimes it will kind of pause for a moment just like I said, let it continue. It pauses right before it, it's about to stop. Now you're going to get to where it says assessment one. Now this is where you do not unload your mat. So don't be tempted. I know we're really bad about trying to grab it <laughs> when it's finished doing this. But leave it in your machine exactly where it is. Now what it's telling you to do is that it just now cut a fine line around the middle box here on your sheet. So this is your printer sheet, your calibration sheet that you have on your Cricut mat. It has now cut out around the little black box in the center. What they want you to do is to look at that black box and find out does it look like the line is pretty close to around the, the black box. Or if it's kind of off, see how like right here, it's way off the box. Like if you cut with this now, your print and cut images would cut wrong. So you want to tell it, yes, yes, it, mine looks fine. It says, does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? All right. So it depends upon what your box looks like. Now I will tell you what I ended up doing. Cricut has a tip down here that says take a photo and then zoom in to see if you can see it better. That did not work for me because all it did was make the image really blurry and then I really couldn't see the line. What I did though was I used my, cell, my, my uh, smartphone and I used the flashlight app and held the flashlight up to it and then I could see the lines really easily. <laughs> so that's what I did and what I recommend. Now you're going to need here to pick which is your situation. Does, your, does the cut line look like it's you know pretty close to where the edges of the box are? There, it's on the black. Then you're good. Then you click yes. If it is off, then you click no. Now mine looks fine, so I'm going to click proceed to fine calibration, and I'm going to click yes, and then I'm going to say continue. Now what it's going to be doing is it is going to be cutting across the top of the of the of the screen and and down the side where those black lines were around it, and while it's doing that, it's it's that's how it's honing in on where the line is on your machine. So your machine is cutting across all of those. And here in a minute, when it stops doing this, then you get another selection. Now it's really important that you let it finish cutting those little lines and wait till it stops. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to unload our mat. Our mat stays in the machine at all times. So once it finishes doing this process, leave it in the machine. Now it has gone through and it has cut all the lines across the top and all the lines across the right side. Okay. So what it wants you to do next is look at those lines. And this is where, now leave it in your machine. This is where I use my, um, flashlight on my phone to hold it up to those lines and then stand directly over it and look and see where the cut line is. Is it find the one that looks like it's in the center of the black line? You're going to see some that are way off to the right. You're going to see some that are way off to the left. You're going to see some that are kind of, you know, not quite right. You want to find the one that looks the most like it's in the center. 
okay so you'll do that for the top line and then you're going to come over here to where it says top line selection and you're going to pick the number across the top line okay and then for the sideline you're going to do the same thing and this one's going to be a letter and you're going to say which one also again looks like it is closest to the center line and mine was 10 across the top and N down the side so I'm going to pick that and then you're just going to click continue now once you continue it's going to roll back into your machine and it's going to continue cutting and what it's doing now it is cutting that larger black rectangle box on the print screen and then there again you need to say is it close enough or is it not now here's a here's a tip for you I used it's very hard to see this okay it's very hard to tell if it did it correctly or not so what you want to do is I just use my Cricut tool and I gently lifted up the edge and then pulled it up enough still leaving my mat in on my machine I do not want to leave it roll it out yet and I lifted it up to see did it look like it cut correctly for me all the way around and I left it on I just kind of lifted up each edge and pulled it up and then I laid it back on exactly where it was and if it looks like it was cut close enough to the center I say yes if it looks like no I'd rather do an calibration it you start the whole pack all over again so I'm gonna say yes mine looked great yours may not don't worry about it you'll just go through the whole calibration process again once once you've agreed that yes everything looks good then you're going to get to the calibration complete yay <laughs> the new settings have been saved to your machine nice work all right so it's as easy as that it's only going to take a few moments to do it i hope that if you have any questions you know reach out let me know i'm always happy to help you and be sure and subscribe to my youtube channel because with all these design space changes coming up i'll put out new videos every time there's changes so that you guys can stay on top of them and you know what to do with the changes happy crafting make it a great day and if you're not a member of our let's learn cricket design space facebook group please come join us over there